Hi everyone, I'm Blackie Wolf, and this is the video series where we walk through developing a forum product. In the previous episode, we restyled the logo using a font from Google Fonts. We also styled the contact page and made it more appealing to look at and user-friendly. In this episode, we're going to style the profile pages, give them more content, and if we have time, we're going to come back here and actually turn the forums page into a list of forums rather than threads, as well as put more information on the page and in each of these thread pages. But primarily, we're going to focus on these profile pages. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, as I mentioned in a previous video, it's perfectly okay to go to other websites and look at how they did something to draw inspiration from how you want to style your own site. So we're going to look at three different examples and try and draw some inspiration from them. First, we're going to look at vBulletin. We see that the profile picture is on the left and the username below it. We also see that I think that's a title, what they did last, when they joined. Um, we also see their activities, their about, and media. Okay. Next is My Bulletin Board, which is an open source uh, forum software, It's for so it's free. We see that the profile picture is actually on the right this time. The username is at the top, again, some other title. When they joined, their date of birth, what time is for them, their status, whether they're online or offline, and some other information here. Finally, this is IP Board, uh, created by Envision. Uh, we see that the profile picture is actually right here, their name, their title, how many posts they have, when they joined, last visited, uh, their followers, their activity, about them, their rank, and some other stuff. Now that we kind of have an idea about what to do, I'm actually going to follow along with this theme we have of centering the content. But before that, I do need to explain something. In the previous episodes, like in the very first few videos of the series, I would show you more of the code. As we progress and move along with the product, I'm going to show you less and less code. All you're going to see is the end result. And the reason for this is because I don't like giving people all the answers. You need to figure out how to develop the product yourself because you're not always going to be able to rely on other people to help you with this. So I'll show you the end result, but then you need to figure out how to get to that end result yourself. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So let's see, I want the profile picture to go up in the middle, up at the top, with the username below it. Okay, so I've done a little bit to style the profile picture and the name. I added a title, uh, but uh, I just realized the mistake I made. The wrapper is used to center the content, you can see here. However, I added padding to it, and I really shouldn't have done that. So I'm going to need to take the padding off. The problem is it's going to affect everything else on the website also. The problem is with doing that is, to, for me at least, it's too inflexible and so let's see what damage it did okay somehow I need to put all this back okay now that's fixed uh, the reason I did this is because you might see on some websites that there's a background image behind the logo like on YouTube or Facebook. Um, I think it's called a cover image and the padding would kind of get in the way of that. So now we can do something like this if we wanted to come back in here. And we could come to the header and uh, give it a background. Uh, let's use a gradient. Okay now you see we have a cover image quote, <laughs> quote unquote cover image it's just really just a gradient and it'd be kind of awkward if there was spacing around it okay I'm just gonna leave that like it is for now uh, so next what we want to do is add some more content to this to make it look a little more interesting so let's see <laughs> Okay, so now this is what it looks like, and let me replace that background image with something that looks cool. So 
So one of the other ways you can add images to the page is by assigning that image as a background. And there's actually a specific rule for it called background image. But I typically just use the background property because it's um, shorthand for a bunch of different background properties. And you do this by doing URL and then linking to the image in the folder that you want to link to. Okay, that's good enough. So yeah, that's it. We've styled the profile page. Now let's go ahead and make sure we style all the other profile pages. Okay, so now we're done. Um, we've styled all the pages that I'm aware of. Granted, this form page, or rather this thread page could be a whole lot better, but still. Um, and this could be better too. So figure out how you we can make these better. And next time we meet, I'll probably have these styled a little bit differently. But for the next video, we have one more episode with CSS. And this time we'll be talking about how to style the forum for mobile devices. Because um, if you come in here and we turn this into mobile view, does not look good. Does not look good at all. I mean, it's so small and it's hard to see. We'll talk about ways to fix this, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give feedback, comment, critique, and I'll see you guys next time.